Hey guys, it's me, Travis from Solid Shell Security, and tonight we actually got tasked with creating a $2,000 gaming build for a client. What they wanted was they wanted high-end next generation, but they wanted to keep it at about $2,000. So this is what we decided to give them. We went ahead and we went with the latest uh, version, next generation of the i7. We looked at getting the Elite i7s that had the six cards, but that chip was about a thousand dollars. So that put us way over the budget range, so we decided to drop it down to the lower version of the i7 and decided to go with the next generation. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the i7 4770K. Now this thing can be overclocked, so we could probably push this thing well into the 4 gigahertz range, you know, probably for a 0.2, 4.5 pretty easily. It's a quad processor. It's also got a Intel defini high definition graphics built into it. I believe it's for the 4000 version. So you've, you've got some nice uh, power with this thing. Um, following in with the AMDs that have been packing in the graphics into the chip. We've also decided to go with the ASUS Sabertooth Z87 and get the Z87 uh, chipset, which recently just came out. So we're definitely trying to get the next generation and stay on top of everything. So this machine will last for a while. And we decided that since it has the ability for 32 gigs, we're just going to fill up the, the RAM with the full 32 gigabytes. It's also dual channel, so there's really no point in getting like one or two. So it might as well just get, you know, the full thing filled up so we can make use of the dual channel and get that extra speed and that extra performance. So we're just going to go ahead and just grab, you know, 32 gigs of RAM. Now we're going to go ahead and also get a, uh, a GeForce GTX 67 based uh, graphics card. It's SLI ready. Because the uh, ASUS motherboard actually has two PCI version 3x16 slots, we could actually get another one of these and SLI them together so you can also double the performance and the speed of everything. But because of the budget, we, we couldn't actually get a second one, so the option is in fact involved. Uh, if you, in fact you're actually looking to SLI and you really want to get another graphics card, um, you might actually want to consider getting a higher end one, possibly, maybe spend an additional hundred, two hundred dollars, possibly. Um, the thing is, if you're ever going to SLI, you really want to make sure they're the exact same versions. So consider getting up, get a higher end one for the extra hundred dollars. So when you do SLI, it's going to make a bigger difference. But it's how you want to spend your money. Um, we're also going to go ahead and grab the Samsung SSD. We're getting the uh, smaller version of the SSD to save some money, mostly because the only thing we really want to run on this SSD is going to be the operating system and a couple of applications and maybe one, two, three of the most popular games that we want to play. There's really no reason to actually get a bigger SSD because we are actually going to be grabbing the WD black and it's two terabytes so we're going to use this thing to actually keep all the other games and storage for the media like videos anything like that now the WD blacks are actually built more for speed and performance so they're really nice we actually use these in a lot of business systems when we create business systems we take the WD blacks and we put them in a RAID 1 configuration the reason we do that is if one fails, we can still have another one. So it gives us a little, it's not a backup, but it gives us some stability and reliability. And the WD Blacks have a nice performance gain, so we definitely really like the WD Blacks. They're not the best when you want to like maybe save power or anything like that, but if you're looking for some speed, definitely get the WD Black. You could actually substitute this with maybe a WD Green or a WD Blue if you wanted to and possibly save a little bit of some money. But if you really want the extra speed and performance, you might want to just get the W black. But it's really up to do what you want to do. We're also not going to skimp. We're going to get an 80 plus gold, 
see Sonic get the best. So we're going to get 850 watts. We're also getting fully module because if you've ever used power supplies, you do not want to have to deal with the thousands and thousands of wires that come out the back. Because of that, it's just a really painful thing. So we're going to get modules so we can so we can plug in what we need and not have to use every little bit of them. We're also just going to grab a simple little fractal design. Um, personally, I like fractal design. They're really nice. It's nothing really, really fancy, but if you really want to go something fancy, you can. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of like flashy cases in all honesty. I'm I just really don't really care too much if I'm gonna show anything off. I'm basically gonna show off like maybe a hundred servers in like a, a, a in my little lab or something of the sorts like that. I'm really not a big fan of the cases, so that's just why I decided to go with this fractal design. It's simple, it's sturdy, it's strong, it's really, really nice. It's got a lot of fans, a lot of placements, a lot of space. It also has foam to help keep the dust particles out of the system as well. So in my personal opinion, I'm just going to grab something nice, simple, sturdy, reliable. Um, we're also just going to go ahead and grab a light on. I mean, games will probably need to be installed through the DVDs or whatever. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and grab a light on DVD burner so you can actually burn music, whatever you need to burn for friends or whatever you might want to do. It's just nice to have. So that right there is your two hundred I mean your two thousand um, dollar shopping. Um there's also a few rebates and some freebies and everything, so I think we're saving I guess I don't show it down there. Probably about a hundred, two hundred something in savings here. So it's not a bad build. It's pretty good if you're looking to get some next generation. It's got a lot of flexibility because with the Asus Sabertooth you have a, like, I think it's six SATA parts. So you've got a lot of flexibility with that case. You can, I believe, stick six something drives in there as well. So you've got a lot of flexibility with this build. So you can always make some upgrades and expansions as you see fit. So this would definitely get you through for probably the next three to five years unless games make a tremendous jump in tech but anyway this is your two thousand dollar build and just want to say thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and follow us and we'll have some other good builds coming out so thanks for watching people